Hi, everybody. This is Mrs. Brownell, and I am giving you a recorded lesson today. Um, I'm going to start by going over our vocabulary terms because I know that we didn't get to those the other day. And so if you go to your Google Classroom, which I know my virtual students can do, my in-person students, uh, Mr. Schmeagel or Ms. Grennan, um, is going to give you the list of terms at this time. I'm just going to show you where those are located on Google Classroom as well. So it's the second post. It'll actually be the third post down because I am going to be posting some videos on your stream um, for today's classwork. Uh, but the vocab list is right here. And that's coming up right now. Okay, so um, this is Warriors Don't Cry, chapters seven through nine vocabulary. And you'll be getting, my in-person students, you'll be getting this list right now. So you have that to help you. And then um, there is also a classwork assignment that does have to be inputted in the computer as well. You'll have some time to work on that, actually to fill it out, my in-person students or my virtual students if you have not done it yet. I noticed a couple people turned it in. I do wanna encourage you to make sure that these words are spelled correctly on your classwork assignment because if they're not, it will be counted wrong or you'll have the opportunity to fix it as well. Um, however, when you go to the other document, so there's the vocabulary list, and then there is the classwork assignment, which is this one. Bear with my slow computer here. All right. So it's a fill in the blank. And we're going to go through the definitions, actually, through the PowerPoint presentation I have for you. So if you want to fill these in as we go through, that is totally up to you. Um, I am not saying... Um, that they are in the exact order, although I think they may be. <laughs> I'm just looking here. Um, so it's up to you. If you want to try to do it as we go through the PowerPoint presentation, you totally can. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and present. It's thinking about it. There we go. All right. So warriors don't cry. Vocabulary for seven through nine. I apologize at my slow connection here. All right, clamor. A persistent demand for something made in an excited or angry way. A lot of noise. Treacherous, perilous, involving hidden dangers or hazards. That looks very treacherous to me. Heckler, someone who is harassing a public speaker, performer, etc. with impertinent questions, taunts, insults, or the like. We've definitely heard hecklers throughout Warriors Don't Cry so far. Gauntlet, an onslaught or attack from all sides, a form of punishment or torture in which people armed with sticks or other weapons arrange themselves in two lines facing each other and beat the person forced to run between them. Does not sound fun. Menacing, the act of threatening. Preoccupied, absorbed in thought, engrossed. Inquiring, seeking information by asking a question. Aspiration, strong desire, longing, or aim, ambition a goal or objective desired. And this cartoon, 1969, I want to be an astronaut and walk on the moon one day, maybe even go to Mars and visit other planets. Who knows? Maybe I'll be the one that discovers life somewhere else. 2009, 
I want to be a contestant on American Idol. So just the differences in ambitions and ambitions and goals. Occupy. To take possession and control of a place, as by military invasion. Distraught. Distracted. Deeply agitated or upset. Convoy, a ship, fleet, group of vehicles, etc., accompanied by a protecting escort, any group of military vehicles traveling together under the same orders. Caravan, a company of travelers journeying together as across the des a desert or through hostile territory. Interval, a period of temporary cessation, pause, breaks between the volleys of gunfire, a space between things, points, limits, etc. So two minutes, rest, and then somebody was exercising really hard, two minutes of rest, exercising. Bayonet, which would be this part down here. A dagger-like steel weapon that is attached to or at the muzzle of a gun and used for stabbing or slashing in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Terpolin, a protective covering of canvas or other material waterproofed with tar, paint, or wax. Pristine, undefiled, unpolluted, untouched, exceptionally clean, well-groomed. And that is the end of our slideshow. And so um, we are going to transition to another video now of the reading of Chapter 8. But don't forget that you will have to go and input this information onto the computer. And then don't forget to hit the Turn In button when you're finished. And again, please don't forget to make sure when you fill these in that you spell the words correctly. I highly recommend copying and pasting down on where the blank is. That way you know that you have spelled them correctly. So just a suggestion.